Hello guys, welcome to this new video series about Poser to Blender to Poser. On this first video we will concentrate on the correct export and import procedures between the two applications. The initial purpose of this video is how to create single group morphs and how to create a full body morph. First let's get rid of the intro. The intro was done with text props a new feature of Poser 11. So let's load a demo figure. As demo figure I chose the low res male but the procedures apply to all figures. I just lo load this one because it's low resolution and easy on the memory certainly with the video capturing running in the background. So all figures in Poser load with IK on and in a pose. First thing we have to do is reset the figure to the original OBJ file. So file, remove the IK, in this figure it's on the legs, IK removed, figure zero figure. And now we have the figure back in its original state the object file is now back into its true neutral position. So first remove all the IK, then zero the figure. Now we are ready for export. File, export, wavefront object file, single frame. And for a single group, you only need to select the group that you need. In this case, let's do the head. Okay and you get another menu, export options, choose as morph target, include body parts, use exact internal names, okay, and give your object file a name, head, original, okay, saved, then we go to Blender, where's Blender, there is Blender, when you open, open Blender you get that cube, delete that cube. I always join those two to get a little bit more area. And let's import that head. For import settings, Blender allows you to create presets. And I made import presets. But if you have to do it manually, it's smooth groups and lines off. Keep vertex order on, polygroups on. Navigate to your folder and load your head org that you just saved from Poser. Import. And the head loads very small, but on your numerical keypad, tap 5, 1, point, and you get the head. And this is the head of the low polygon figure. Select the head and go to edit mode to create your morph. For a morph on a single group, it is most important that you do not touch the vertexes that are at the edge of the group. Leave those vertices alone. Don't touch them. And for the rest, keep in mind you are creating a morph. You cannot add or delete a vertex. You cannot use a modifier, you cannot use a subdivision level. You can only work with the existing polygons, with the existing vertex. So let's create something. Select the polygon. Uh, let's put proportional editing on. small like that and also check mirror on so that you only have to do one side of the head and let's create a morph this is a morph you can only displace existing polygons existing vertex existing edges but you cannot add or remove any voila we've got some wider and longer ears just for the fun of it. 
but pull the nose out. Voila. Just that we did something. So don't touch the row of vertex that is touching another group. Don't add or delete anything. You have to maintain vertex order when you're creating a morph. Ready? Voila, we have a morphed head. Wider ears, longer nose. Export. File. Export. Wavefront object. Again, Blender allows you to create presets. I created some export presets. But for this purpose, you don't need UVs, you don't need to write materials. All you need is to check is polygroups and keep vertex order. Leave all the others blank and give first navigator your folder of course and give your morph a name. Let's keep it simple. Head morphed. Export. Back to poser. In poser select your head and with the head selected go to object load morph target and navigate to your morph head morphed that you just exported from blender open open and set your morph to one voila you have a longer nose wider ears and that's how you create a single group morph in Blender. Now that we know how to do that, haha, of course we want to modify the rest of the figure. And that we do by creating a full body morph. Most start by file, export, wavefront object file, single frame, ok, because here are all our groups. Unfortunately, this does not work. Poser uses an internal system of rewelding the groups, unwelding the groups while working, and rewelding the groups while exporting. And by doing so, it loses vertex order. It is impossible to export a grouped figure from Poser. So, cancel. Unfortunately, we cannot not export a figure from Poser. But there are always solutions. In Blender, delete the head. We don't need the head. We need the full figure. File, import, wavefront object file. Import settings are the same. Smooth groups and lines off. Keep vertex order on. Polygroups on. Navigate to your folder and search for your figure. In this case, the Poser Pro Lores Mail OBJ. But Poser does not come with OBJ files. All the figures in Poser come as OBZ files. That is simple. You can unzip an OBZ into an OBJ. Because an OBJ is just a zipped up OBZ. So unzip your OBZ file into an OBJ and load that one. And there is your full figure, but this time in Blender. And now we can create a full body morph for the guy. Select the figure, go to edit mode, be sure that X mirror is on so you only have to do one side. And you can start morphing. Morphing, same thing as before, you can displace existing vertex or in this case I'm doing existing lines or edges and I'm giving some bigger biceps here yeah why not uh, let's do the tie I'm not going to give a Blender course here, there are more than enough tutorials about Blender. This is more about how, how to create a full body morph. 
and left to give him some broader calves also. He's a bit tiny there. Voila, thicker thigh, thicker shins, thicker arms, and just for the fun of it, why not? Let's pull the nose out. Nah. <laughs> Funny guy. Okay. We've done work on multiple groups. We've got a full body morph. Let's export that one. Boo. Like the nose. Uh, with the object file selected, file, export. File, export, wavefront object file. Here again I have export presets, but you don't need the materials for a morph. Just keep polygroups and keep vertex order selected. And let's call this full figure. Export. In poser. This time we select the body actor and we select the figure load full body morph and we navigate to our full figure that we just created in Blender. Open, open and now you have a dial that gets your guy <laughs> longer nose and some more muscles uh, settings this way it's easier to show what you just created voila this is what you just created a full body morph and that are the correct import and export settings between poser and blender to create a single group morph and a full body morph. In the next videos we will start on the detailing work and how we can fine tune these figures, all poser figures, to get the most of those meshes. Thank you!